Open Data Kit is a set of tools to help you collect, aggregate and author forms for collecting your data. ODK Collect is an Android app for filling in forms. Forms can contain multimedia, including images, audio and video. In addition, the collected data can include locations, barcodes and sketch annotations. ODK Aggregate runs on a server and is the repository of the data sent by ODK Collect. The data can be viewed in spreadsheets and on maps. The ODK Aggregate server can run in the cloud, on a virtual machine, or on a private server under your desk. Data on the server can be exported to a variety of other tools, including Google Fusion Tables, Google Earth, and Google Maps. ODK includes two form authoring tools. Build is a graphical drag and drop tool for creating simpler forms. XLS Form allows larger forms to be laid out in a spreadsheet using Microsoft Excel. Let's go through a simple example from an ODK user in Pakistan. The government of Punjab Health Department uses ODK to track the workload, staffing and available medical supplies at local health clinics to identify shortages and staffing problems. This is an example XLS form used for this application. We want to record the number of antenatal visits that this clinic performed, so we are going to add this as a question to the form. We want the answer to this question to be a number. We will name this value antenatal and we will require that the user answer this question before proceeding. The text of the prompt will be antenatal visits last month. Great, that's done. Now we will check on a question that asks about available tablets at this clinic. This is a select multiple question which means that the user can input multiple choices. The available choices are stored on a second worksheet highlighted here. This is how the XLS form renders on the phone. We will now show you how to fill in the form. Here we can see the tablet choices that we highlighted earlier. And here is our question about the number of antenatal visits that were performed last month. Here we're adding a photo that we took to the form. Now we're going to record a GPS location. After completing the form, we can send it to our cloud server at our convenience. The delay is proportional to the size of the photo that we added. Now let's go to our server to see the data that we sent. First we need to log in. Here we can see all of the data that has been uploaded. Let's visualize our data on a map. Each point represents a form that was submitted. We can select points on the map and view the data associated with that form submission. Now let's look at some of the photos that were added to the forms. The data has now been exported to a Government of Punjab website where, for example, we can look at which clinics had stockouts of specific tablets this month. There are several other ODK tools that you can find on our website. That concludes our tour of the ODK toolkit. All of the ODK tools are free and open source and available from our website at opendatakit.org. There are also several companies based in the developed and developing world 
that offer value-added services and customizations of the ODK toolkit. ODK is being used around the world by thousands of people, contributing to hundreds of projects in dozens of countries. Thank you for your attention.